Good Sunday morning, everyone. Today we're coming to you from Dollywood Theme Park. We're standing right outside of the Robert F. Thomas Chapel. This is located right inside of the Dollywood Theme Park. This chapel was named after the doctor who actually delivered Dolly Parton when she was born. I'm not sure if you're aware of it or not, but worship service is held here every Sunday morning at 11.30 a.m. when the park is open. And today, we're going to go inside and attend a worship service. This is something we've been wanting to do for a long time, but we never have done it. And today, we're here on a Sunday, so we thought we would come in here, celebrate the Lord's Day, and attend the worship service. So y'all come along and join us. chapel here at Hollywood, we are so honored that you would take time to come here on the Lord's Day to spend time worshiping together. Uh, I've met people from all over the country so far. Have you had anybody come from overseas, like from out of the country? Raise your hand if you're, if you traveled from somewhere. Oh, right here. Where are you from? Oh, Costa Rica. All right. You get the award. There may be some folks out there in the uh, on the black top as well, but I can't see their hands. I've met folks from Missouri and Kansas. Hey, if you're a Northeasterner, raise your hand. If you're from up in the Northeast New England area. Okay, we've got a couple of brave souls raising their hand back here. Awesome. How about Midwesterners? You got Midwesterners here? A few more hands. Yeah. How about if you're west of the Mississippi? Northwest, Southwest? All right, we got a few of those. What about Tennesseans? You got uh, some Tennesseans? Oh, look at all those hands. All right. Uh, what about from the rest of the South? Just around the yeah. rest of the All down the hands. Okay. Well, ma'am, it is so great to have each of you. Uh, whatever your background or tradition is, our purpose here this morning is to give glory to God, to give Him praise through our songs and through the Word of God, and to edify you. Hopefully, you'll leave here in a few minutes strengthened in your faith and encouraged as well. So we're glad. Uh, that you're here. Psalm 66, 1 through 4. Let's read. Shout for joy to God, all the earth. Sing the glory of His name. Give to Him glorious praise. Say to God, how awesome are your deeds. So great is your power that your enemies come cringing to you. All the earth worships you and sings praises to you. They sing praises to your name, say God. Father, we pray that you would be glorified in this service today. In Jesus' name, amen. But the reason that we're able to rejoice in the midst of that is because Jesus never changes. His presence in our life never goes away. He promises us that he'll never leave us or forsake us. And what's more, he died for us on the cross so that we could be saved. And he rose from the grave. And we know that no one can ever move him. And no one can ever change him. So I want to encourage you today to rejoice always in the Lord. And Paul says this is so important. Just in case you were asleep. Just in case you were looking at your phone. They didn't have phones back then. We do today. He wants to say it again. I will say rejoice. Ms. Creek, come and lead us again in worship. Joy, joy, joy. Okay, now this song, everybody needs to stand up. <laughs> if you're able, stand up. This song is not in your book. This is a little song that I know a lot of you, like myself, learned at Bible school. Mine was a few more years ago than yours, probably. But we all learned this little song at Bible school, and it's got, I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. The only thing we're going to do today to add to that is say work. When we get to the down in my heart, you say work. Okay? Then we're going to say, I've got the love of Jesus, love of Jesus down in my heart. So, we're going to sing it through one time, and then we're going to sing it through a second time, because by that time, everybody's got it down pat, okay? So, here we go. I've got the joy, joy, joy.
Christ and to die is gain. And he says, oh, by the way, in chapter 3, he says, I used to be somebody really important. I had high position. I had prestige. I was looked at as someone very important in the eyes of others. And then I met Jesus. And he says, guess what? All those things that I once thought were valuable, my position, what others thought of me, my money, all of those things, he says, those are trash now compared to the surpassing greatness of knowing Jesus Christ, my Lord. To Paul, there was nothing better than knowing Jesus. And even when he was there in chains, even when he had reason to not rejoice, he could tell the church there, rejoice. He said, I'm rejoicing. Many of us know that Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through him who strengthens me. Why was Paul able to say that? He said, I know what it means to be hungry, and I know what it means to be well fed. I know what it means to have fine clothes and be warm, and I know what it means to not have enough clothes to stay warm. He said, but in all these things, the secret is Jesus. I know that I can rejoice even when I don't have enough to eat, even when I don't have enough clothes to keep me warm, even when I'm in prison for the gospel because Jesus saved a sinner like me. Luke 15, 10, let's read that. There is joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner who repents. When you read Luke 15, you find out Jesus was telling several different parables about how God comes after us. We're lost, but he loves us enough to pursue us. And he says that when one sinner like you and me turns away from our sin and puts our faith in Jesus, that there's rejoicing in the presence of the angels. There's a party in heaven. And if the angels of heaven who sing far more than you and me will rejoice over even one person who repents, how much more should we rejoice that our sins have been forgiven and we have eternal life? Page 157, the first verse only. like a normal church would do. Here's a look at inside of the bulletin. This is what today's surface consisted of. We had the welcome, the call to worship. Rejoice in the Lord always. Rejoice in His salvation. And rejoice in His Word. Folks, we have a real nice group of young men we met today at the church service at Dollywood. And these folks came up to us, told us that they subscribed to a channel. We sure do appreciate that, and we sure do thank you for what you do to help with this church service to make this go forward each and every week. We thank you all for your service here, and God bless each and every one of you. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me